Uh, welcome to Reykjavik Greipaer's newscast. My name is Valo Grettison. I'm an editor in chief at Reykjavik Greipaer. Uh, the Reykjavik Greipaer, by the way. It's not Reykjavik Greipaer. Uh, welcome to the most beautiful display on Earth, in my opinion. Uh, it's a little bit windy, but it's uh, we're going to check this volcano out now in the in the night. It's like uh, what is the time asked? Well, well, I look at the time. You can <laughs> you can see what's happening in the in back. Yeah, it's it's 8:30, uh, and as you can see, perhaps. Wow. Yeah, we have some news of that also. Uh, but uh, remember, of course, uh, instuckbeer.com. Ask to not cut this out, please. Uh, and of course, uh, our homepage, grapevine.is. If you're thinking about traveling here, go to covid.is. If you're thinking about hiking here, go to safetravel.is. Uh, it's a fantastic and wonderful homepage. It will tell you everything that you need to know about this, because this is not an easy hike yet, but it could be easier uh, in the weeks to become. Uh, but yeah, let's just do it, right? Check this out. It's going to go uh, absolutely incredibly high uh, within seconds. And what's newsy about this, that the lava fountain has not been this high uh, f since it began uh, on the 19th of March, like since the, the eruption began, because this one wasn't uh, formed until much later. Look at that. So. What's happening now is that in the beginning, when we came here the first time and we saw the lava fountain going up like the geyser, uh, it was around 200 to 250, 250 meters. But right now it's around 300 meters, according to scientists that actually uh, have uh, looked at this and they wrote the report and it was in the news today. Uh, perhaps to, just to, for you to understand this, if you've been to Iceland, for example, we have this church called Hallgrimskirkja. It's the highest church in Iceland, far from being the highest uh, building in Iceland, but it's on Skólaverðarholt in downtown Reykjavík, and it's beautiful. Uh, that's 75 meters uh, in height, so this is at least uh, like three times that, and more than that, which is uh, quite... Uh, to shows how, like, the mountain, the volcano, is getting bigger and bigger by every day. Uh, not only that, uh, since this began, uh, this uh, volcano, this fire geyser or whatever we should call this, uh, is twice the size as the volcano was to begin with. You remember, I was always talking about this. It was like uh, scientists were saying that uh, the lava coming from the, mount from the uh, volcano uh, was around five cubic meters per second, up to eight meters per cubic meter per second. It's a very technical thing, but it matters. <laughs> so, uh, this one, though, is 13, meet 13 uh, cubic meters per second, meaning it's much bigger than before, which is uh, undeniably quite impressive. Uh, so, also, uh, Meradalir, uh, Meradalir, I always say Dalir, because of getting a Dalir. Well, anyways, uh, you probably can't hear the difference, but it's huge in Icelandic. Uh, Meradalir is literally uh, filling up uh, the reason is that this lava is twice the size it used to be, and this river here is going all the way down here, and I think it's probably, it's at least 500 meters, like half a kilometer that this goes, and it takes a quick turn, and down here, and to the uh, Meradalur, or the valley of the Mer, uh, and Art is going to show you, hopefully, and some drone shots. Uh, so, uh, not only is this lava here, it's also filling up the next valley, but it hasn't, like, like uh, Fagradalsröin, which is the new name, haven't uh, gotten to Nautai yet. So, so, it's still very local here and, like, cozy, if you will. Also, we spoke to this uh, search and rescue uh, people, uh, and they were telling us that the past days have been very uh, good when it comes to uh, non-accidents. There has nothing happened in two days, but uh, a few days before that, like we were talking about co like a couple of days, a few days before, 
Uh, there was there were two people that got pretty badly hurt when they broke their leg hiking here. And like I always say, this is not an easy hike. It's it's uh, like a medium hard. That's like the official uh, like toughness of this hike. Uh, but for some people, this could be quite the challenge. Uh, and it's very easy, as you can see here, where I'm walking, very easy to like uh, uh, just to go down. You know, if you're not in good shoes, of course. Also. Uh, the, the newest concerns, though, is that because this, la this lava fountain is so goddamn big, meaning that uh, uh, the tephra, the, the word is like, just so you understand it, it's T-E-P-H-R-A, tephra, or tephra. Uh, so uh, these chunks here are coming from the mountain, uh, and it's shooting it just right here. I took this up just before you started filming, meaning if you get this in your hat, this is a little bit, I mean, it, it's, it's fragile, definitely. <laughs> and you, you feel like a superhero when crossing it. But this one, it can actually hurt you a little bit if, you're, uh, if you get this one in the head unexpectedly. So uh, you're not gonna get hurt badly, but this is definitely uncomfortable. So what the search and rescue teams are saying is, perhaps bring a helmet. It's not a bad idea actually right now. And as you can see, this is like, uh, uh, this could, uh, I've even seen like larger uh, like chunks than this. And then we go again, right? We should just enjoy that. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it at least. So, the brush fires are still going on. Uh, it doesn't, it, it, it seems a little bit, bit less than it was on Sunday when we were the last time here. Remember, it was like smoke all around, but there is some brush fire still. Uh, past like two, three or four weeks, I, I don't, I'm not quite sure, but I think it's up to a month. Uh, there has not been a drop of rain in Iceland. And this also is very, very weird because Icelanders, uh, we are very used to wind and rain. And I mean, perhaps it's the extreme weather changes in the world or something else, but at least we have no rain, meaning there are also forest fires all around uh, Iceland and a lot of danger going on. And we even had one in Hedmark, which is... Uh, the, new, the new helicopters is the drone, I guess. There are no helicopters here, by the way. Have you noticed? It's way too dangerous for the helicopters uh, to fly around this monster here because it could, like, uh, the, the tephra, these suckers here, could actually go and, and, and crash them quite easily. So it goes so uh, quite the distance, meaning that uh, the helicopters now just go straight and actually land with people and they have stopped bothering us, <laughs> which is... Nice in a way, but I mean, you should, perhaps I should not be happy about it, but, but I, I am a little bit. Uh, that's it, basically it for today's newscast. Uh, we'll be here back on Monday, of course. Uh, I just wanted to tell you, uh, it's interesting. Uh, the time now is 9.30 in the evening. Uh, of course, the sun is higher in the air these days, and it's harder to get these night shots. But we're going to try, and Arthur is, of course, going to show you uh, this whole, the whole thing with this wonderful drone uh, photos. We got a new drone, by the way, after we lost the other one. It's, it's becoming like a, like a slaughterhouse for, for drones here. But it is what it is. Uh, remember, of course, our online shop. Uh, we have a ton of stuff uh, and we need your money. So uh, until then, thank you and goodbye.